Let's see how long it takes until I get annoyed and on at my hair. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do my makeup inventory for 2021. I'm really excited about this video because my numbers has changed quite a bit actually if you compare it to June and uh, January of last year. We are going to hear some numbers and seeing some pictures here in the corner so I will scoop to the side and just get into it before this gets too long. I have them here on my phone because my computer decided to die and well for power and I don't want to get my charger so here we are. I will say if you haven't seen my makeup inventory before I categorize my blushes and bronzers so that the blushes that are in palettes is also in this blush category and the same with bronzer and highlighter so the pictures may seem weird but for me it makes sense so I hope they don't confuse you guys it's just the most accurate for me um, so let's get into it and Felix is here <laughs> and baby girl in the monitor here Let's start out with face products and for face primer I have two and in January last year and in August I had two as well but these two are completely different so this category does not concern me at all obviously I only have two. They do the same thing, they're both mattifying primers. I really wanted to try out the BS Cosmetics one and I got that in the fall time and I really like that one but I also like the makeup, the makeup library one that I have right now. For eye primers I have four and last January I had five. I used up one last year obviously if you saw my makeup empties for 2020. Two glitter primers and two regular primers. I really want to have only one of each. Foundation. In January last year I had six foundations. In August I had three and I now I only have two. I'm really happy about this number and I'm really excited to have four uh, less foundations because Today I only have uh, concealer on and I actually feel more myself with only concealer on so a goal will be to knock this category out or at least only have like one foundation in my stash because I just don't prefer it anymore. Even though I have some scars and breakouts and stuff like that but they are not to the extent that I have to cover them with a foundation, a concealer does the job. So. I'm pretty happy about only having two and they are my favorite foundations at the moment and they're do both from W7. Concealer on the other hand, <laughs> I have seven but it has gone down because in January last year I had 12. In August I had eight and now I have seven. I did declutter one here in December. One of them is like an highlighter, inner corner highlight uh, crayon thing. I don't use it as a concealer so maybe it should go into my highlighter category but that one is so big so i don't really want to add anything to it correctors i have had the same one in here since january last year in 2019 i used up all of my correctors and i had this um cream highlighter thing like it, it was like a pinky peachy highlight uh, a matte one and I just put that into my corrector category because that is what I use it for. So I still have that one. For powders, I had five in January of 2020 and I have two now. I'm really excited about that. So yes, powders, I have one for my face and one for my under eyes, which is what I want. So two is perfect. My base products are really under control. If you think about those I just mentioned, the only category that I really want to work on uh, is eye primer and concealers because I have a little bit too many for my liking in those categories. Then we have colored base products. For blush I had 24 in January, I had 23 in August, now I have 24 but it only went up to 24 because I moved a, a pinky highlighter for my highlighter category into the blush category because I use it as a blush topper. It is just way too uh, dark for me uh, to use as a highlighter so that is in that category now. So that also means my highlighter went down. <laughs> 
for bronzer, I had 16 in January. I had the same 16 bronzers in August and now I have 14. I don't remember what I have decluttered in that category and oh, because I didn't I don't think I have used any up. I don't remember, but what I can count and what I can find in my collection is 14. So I'm pretty happy about that that it got down. Obviously, I want way less in both of those categories. My biggest category of all of them is my highlighter category. And I had 50 in January last year and now I have 49. And that is the highlighter that I moved into my blush category and that is why it is down one. Body shimmers, I had two last January and I still have the same two in August and now I have zero. I have decluttered the remaining two because I just don't want to use them. I don't want to cover myself in body shimmer that can transfer onto my baby girl. I just don't want that. My goal was to have them done before she came and that just didn't happen. So now they are just out of my life. They are in the trash and I am really excited about not having that category for ever again. Basically. And the same goes with foundation mixer. Last January I had one and I used that up in like January as well. So I don't have any foundation mixers now. I use a foundation for that now. So that is spot on for me. I really don't want to have that category in my stash anymore. The last one in this spreadsheet that I have here is setting spray and I have had the same two since January last year. In total I have gone down 19 products um, and I'm pretty happy about that. That is really really exciting. The first category in my eyes spreadsheet is brows and in January last year I had five and I still have five products because I made a Franken brow product in my panda palette and I had some left so I just mixed that into a pan. I really really like that shade for my brows and that is what I have in today plus um, a brow gel which is a new one. It, I'm still at five and I'm okay with that. I would just like to knock it out and only have one or two products in that category because I really like to have a powder for my brows and not a pen or anything like that. I just really like powder for my eyebrows at least at the moment. Pencil eyeliners, I had seven in January and now I have six. I have used up a brown Rimmel London eyeliner and I'm really excited about having less now. For liquid liner, this has gone down like a lot. I had 11 last year in January and now I have seven. I have decluttered and used up quite a few and I'm pretty happy about that. For liquid liner, I really only like to have black but right now I have some duochrome eyeliners that I'm just trying to have fun with this year. And they will be the last year that I have them because they are pretty old as well. Hopefully in January last next year I will have one. For glitter liners, as you know, I used up slash decluttered uh, my three glitter liners from W7. I'm really tempted to buy them again because I really, really like them. But just to be honest, I use them like 10 times a year. So that doesn't really make sense for me. If I find myself reaching for glitter, I have some loose ones that I maybe can use as a glitter liner. I will try to experiment with that. But right now at this moment, I'm not going to gravitate towards those. Then we have glitters and pigments. I have those in the same category because they do kind of the same thing for me, even though I know a pigment is more like an eyeshadow. But I just have them in the same category. I just have. So in January last year I had 19. I did buy one so in August I got up to 20 but now I only have 8 and that is only because I decluttered my 3 glitter palettes because if you saw my whole collection introduction to this project pen this year you know I decluttered my 4 palettes or my 3 palettes and they had 4 pants each in those. That is why the number was so high. I decluttered those because they were, they had gone bad. There was liquid in the glitter pants and mold in one of them. So I was just like, bye bye before my eyes get irritated and I get an eye infection and stuff like that. So I'm just really happy it was only those 
in that drawer. I have looked into my other things and it was only the glitters. So I just think they were getting old and I don't mind. I didn't use them that often anyways. I'm happy to say that I only have four glitters and four pigments. In January last year I had three mascaras. I only have only have two right now. I tend to have two at a time and I only have one or two open at a time so I, I'm not concerned about this category obviously. I change it up like every uh, three to four months depending on it has dried out or not. For cream eyeshadows I'm super excited about this number because in January last year I had 14 cream eyeshadows in my collection. In the summertime I did a massive declutter of those because I just don't use them and I don't see myself using them as much anymore so in August I was down to six and now I have four. So I'm pretty excited to say that I've used up a few, like two, I think, no, four, I don't remember, quite a few and I've used up quite a few. So I'm down to four now and I'm pretty excited and I'm pretty sure I can have those done by next year. For single eyeshadows I had 20 in January last year, then I went down to 15 and now I am up to 18 again. Well, I used up four. But I departed four, I want to say, from palettes that I decluttered and that means I'm up to 18. At least that is what I can count. For quartz, I have had the same three since like June of 17. So I don't really... Yeah, that hasn't changed, obviously. I have one of them in my Pandos eyeshadows at the moment. So I am working on one of them. So that's nice. <laughs> Then we have eyeshadow palettes and that is five shadows and up. I had 38 in January last year in 2020 and now I am down to 31. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm pretty sure that will go up very soon because I am planning on getting the um, Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist um, eyeshadow palette that she just launched. Um, well, when this goes up, the pre-launch has been announced and you can buy it so hopefully I have bought it. I really want the palette and it looks absolutely stunning and I love Angelica and her style and her color selection of palettes. I have the Divina collab with her and I love those eyeshadows so I totally trust her opinion and what she likes and I really want to try Kaleidos. I know they are like the US thing and Denmark and customs and everything like that. But I really want to try Kaleidos. So they will be worth it if they get custom on it. Customs on it. I was really lucky about the Divina collab. Didn't get uh, caught in customs. <laughs> so yeah, I'm down to 31 with that one. Difference, I am down... 39 products from 2020 so I had 123 products in January last year and now I'm not down to 84 so that is pretty nice if you think about 31 of those numbers are eyeshadow palettes then we have the last spread sheet and that is lip products so for lip scrubs I have had the same for since February of 18 so obviously that hasn't changed. I really worked on the berry one last year so that is like that's like a fourth left or something so I really hope I can finish that this year and I just rolled in the coconut uh, scent flavored one into my whole collection project pan that I'm trying to hit pan on so hopefully I can get at least one down this year. Then we have lip balms. This category varies uh, if about what I can find <laughs> in my purses. I always tend to lose some and uh, this year is no different. I lost one. So in January last year I had six lip balms and in August I was down to five and now I'm down to four. So I, I know I used up one and the last one that I know I have, I don't know where it has gone, so I can I could only uh, find four. I don't really mind. 
For lip primer, I'm really excited to knock out this category of my inventory. I have had the same lip primer since June of 17, so it was definitely time to go. I do think I just decluttered that in like November when I did my finales for my whole collection for Japan last year. I really didn't want to use that anymore. It was dry and didn't do anything for me. My lips were just 10 times drier when I used that compared to if I didn't. So I can delete that category as well because I don't plan on getting any of those anymore. Lip liners, I had 19 in January 2020 and now I'm down to 13. I used up three lip liners last year but I have... <laughs> The empties and declutters this month will be kind of big because I decluttered quite a few things. But I decluttered like three more lip liners just because they were dry and not usable anymore. So I'm down to 13 and I'm really close at only having my lip twisters which I adore. I have five eBay lip liners left and... They will take forever to go through, but I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Then we have lip gloss toppers. I had six last year and I have zero now. I decluttered those before my August update for this. So that's pretty exciting. And the same with lip stip lipstick toppers. I had eight last January and now I have zero. So those two categories can go. Lip glasses, I had 14 last year and I still have 14. I didn't use any up. I moved two uh, lip gloss toppers from that category into my lip gloss category. So I could knock out that category from my spreadsheet. That is why it is the same, but it, they are different products. For lip crayons, I have the same two that I've always had. Uh, like in since January, I have the same two. I did uh, use one of them quite a bit last year, so hopefully I can use it up this year. Hopefully. For liquid lipsticks, I had 45 in January 2020, and I have had the same 39 liquid lipsticks since August. I'm pretty excited that it went down like six. So lipsticks, which are not a crayon or a liquid lipstick, just other lipsticks in pants and bullets. I had 42 last January and I am down to 38. So I decluttered my lipstick palette, which had 12 in it, but then I remembered I have never counted in my BH Cosmetics 8 pan side um, the Xenix O collab. Palette, I never counted those lip products and I there are nine pans but I used up one so there are eight and that BH Cosmetics uh, lip palette side I use as cream blush and lipsticks at the moment so so that means I had 147 last January and I'm down to 114 which is a difference on 33 products I'm pretty excited about that number because lip, lip products are the bane of my existence if it is not a lip balm or something like that because I just don't go through them very fast. So have decluttered and used up 33 products. That is pretty good to me. I'm really excited to have it under 120. I really wanted to get under 100. Um, by next year so let's see if I can do that I don't know but I will try my best my total numbers in 2020 I had 396 products and January of this year one year later I have 305 products that is so amazing that I'm down 91 products if you saw my uh, makeup empties for 2020 you know I have I had only 52 products I think so the almost 40 products they were through decluttering I don't really mind I they were old products and products that I didn't like and didn't want to use most of my makeup is actually old that I decide to declutter so I don't really m move 
has them along anymore. That is everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love going through my numbers and taking these pictures and see what I have and remind myself what I have and what I want to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one, please take care and I will see you then. Bye.